Hey guys, it's Brandy. I wanted to share today with you guys uh, my couple of projects I've been working on in the craft room. Um, a lot has been happening in here. Um, I've been trying to get everything cleaned up because my mother-in-law and father-in-law are coming to visit. And I wanted to get my desk area cleaned up, so I figured I'd go ahead and share this stuff with you guys. That way I can get stuff put away and everything put up. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys, um, a mini album, so this video might be a little lengthy, but I'm going to share a mini album, my December daily, and, uh, what I've been working on storage-wise, and a few scrapbook layouts. So first, jumping right in, that way this video is not forever, um, I've been working on my December daily, so I've been using this little Polaroid camera, or printer, that my husband got me last year, I believe, for Christmas, or the year before. Um, so I've been using that, and it's the Polaroid Zip Instant Printer, and it's awesome. So I just print photos from my phone, and you could do collages and everything. Now, with my December Daily, I've been using the kit Christmas Delivery uh, by, I believe, Cartabella. And I got this kit sent to me, I believe this was sent to me by um, Echo Park whenever I did one of their mystery boxes. So I've been using that kit. And again, this is just a chipboard album that I painted with paint, uh, red acrylic paint, and then I Mod Podged it. Oops, sorry guys. My camera's been kind of wonky. I've been trying to get it to where it's straight for you guys. So, sorry about this. But, and then, uh, I think it's going to go again. Oh well. Um, and then I used some paper and then put that on top and Mod Podged that. So, super cute. And it's just a three ring binder little mini album. So Percy is back. So um, I shared what we did on December 1st. And these are just like some Project Life cards. Or I cut paper down to fit inside of these. So and I've been using the stamp set by Delusions. It's uh, the diary. Creative diary stamp set for the dates. And then uh, we went to Steak and Shake. I didn't get any pictures this day, so I just decorated this page here. Um, and then I've only gone up to December 3rd, so i got to do yesterday's and today's. But um, I just print out like a little picture. And then this one was a collage. So that's what I've got so far. And I've just filled these up with like some cards and everything like that. So it's just easy for me to pop pictures in and do some journaling. Uh, since I've been super busy in the craft room. Uh, so just wanted to make it a little easier on myself there. And then um, I've also been working on some scrapbook layouts. The other weekend or something like that, I did some scrapbook layouts on some older pictures of my daughter. Trying to get caught up and trying to use uh, all the pictures that I've printed in the past. So this one, and I've been trying to use my scrap paper and trying to use what I have and not buy as much. So just did some scrap paper here, and then I just did some journaling here. And then used like a little embellishment. Pretty simple. And then I used one of my punches that I haven't used in a long time down here. And then on this one, this is one of my favorites. I just used some scrap pieces of paper and then some journaling cards. I cockeyed them and everything like that made them not even. Used some gems that were in my stash, gem brads. And then uh, this adorable is just a stamp. And I actually, I couldn't find my stamping blocks and stuff like that at the time. So I just used like the back of my phone to stamp these. So I just inked it, put the stamp on my phone and then inked it and then stamped it because I was lazy and didn't feel like looking. So, and then I did some journaling. So FYI, if you don't have your stamping block, your phone will work just fine. So, and then here I use some washi tape and what I've been doing with my washi is I will set it on some like white strips of paper that I have left over and scraps and I'll glue that onto that and sometimes I'll put a little extra adhesive using my art glitter glue and I'll glue them onto the white pieces of paper and then I'll glue them onto the page. So and then here I just used some stickers that I had in my stash that I need to use up. 
And then here's another one. Again, I used stickers that were in a sticker book. It's like a little girl sticker book. So I did that. Trying to go through my stash and use what I have. And then here is my daughter and a baby carrier. And I just said modeling our baby carrier. And then this is a sticker from Dollar Tree. And then some camera washi. And then I did some journaling. And this was a scrap piece of paper that I had. So I've been using my scrap papers a lot more now that they're in these open bins. Um, it's definitely helped, especially being near my station. That way um, I can use those up before I start cutting into other paper. So I got a mini album done. Actually, I just got it done. Um, my friend asked for a couple mini albums for her family um, for her to do some journaling in of like all the grandparents and stuff like that so that the kids have something for them to have later on that tells them a little bit about their grandparents and that they can work on together. So um, here's one of the two. I'm making two of them for her, one for each kid. So um, I use the family um, paper pad, which I actually don't have it on me, so I can't tell you what paper pad it is. Um, I will look it up and then uh, put it in the descript put it in the caption for you. But I used some ribbon that I had in my stash. And then some charms. I put like a little pearl on there. And this one says love. And there's a butterfly. And the other one says family. And then I made this little bead charm. I absolutely love those blue beads. They look like crackled glass. So, and then I put some chipboard on the front covered with black paper. Put another piece from the collection on here. And then one of the cut-aparts on here. And then I had to put the binding up higher because the pockets go up higher, so I didn't want to cut into the pockets. So, and then that's the back. And again, this is that mesh ribbon that I love to use. Like, not mesh ribbon, it's like stretchy lace. So, and... Okay guys, I'm back. Um, had to delete some videos off of this SD card because it was running out of room. So, um, I was right in the middle of sharing my mini album that I made for my friend. Uh, this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to go through the pages. And on most of the pages, on two of them, because I started the album and then I changed it. So, on two of the pages it doesn't quite look the same, but it is. Um, I went ahead and I put some cut aparts in some of the pockets and then in each pocket I also put this is like a piece of white paper just with black on it so they could put some journaling and a picture so and then I also created a pocket on the front of the pockets um, and then put like a little like cut apart and then put a piece of white paper on the back so they can add a fo little photo or they can do some more journaling. So, and that's on each pocket. And then I use some cut aparts for this. So, here's that. So, again, every page is pretty much the same. A little different. Like this one right here doesn't have the pocket in the front. So she can always use it for something else. Because I believe I created like an extra page. So she has two extra pages for whatever she wants. In case there's another family member or anything like that she wants to talk about. So and there's all these. And I'm not sure if I'm going to add white to the back of these or just leave them as they are. And if she wants to add white, she can. And then this one. And then again, each pocket also has the white and black sheet. Hopefully you guys were able to see each page as I'm sharing it. Like my camera doesn't like cover the full table. 
And then I put this cut apart in the last page. Here. So that is the mini album I wanted to share with you guys that I just created. And then I did get in some mail today, so I'm going to share that real quick as well. Oh, and I'm also going to send her probably some of the cut aparts too that um, was with the kit in case she wants to place them anywhere or use them in her scrapbooks or whatever. So the happy mail I got, I got my Stamps of Life kit. Um, I'm part of the stamping kit. I haven't added the dies yet and I'm not part of the card uh, members, but I am part of the stamping ones. So each month I get a stamp set and it's like $13 a month I think per, yeah, per month. So not bad. So I'm super excited about this one. It's super like colorful and summery and stuff like that. And I've already seen some projects from some awesome people um, already with these. And then the gift that they gave for this year was, or for this month was uh, this heart die. Um, they decided to send out a special gift to some of their to their club members. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm. So so excited to create some cards and stuff with that and even use them on my scrapbook layouts. So something I've been working on, hold on one minute, I forgot the totes, one minute. Okay, I'm back again. So um, I've been working on organizing some of my ribbon and trying to condense down stuff to make more room um, and to better organize things to where maybe I'll use it more um, and it's easier for me to see and it's not just piled into things and I can't see it. So. Um, I went ahead and I am organizing my ribbon into these boxes. I get these at Home Depot. This is what they are. And um, like I wish I would have done something a little cheaper instead of Home Depot, but I like to keep things uniform, so I'm going to continue buying these. Um, that way they all match. But I use these also to store all of my charms. So I have a bunch of these for my charms to store those. And eventually I'll probably organize them by like theme and stuff like that. But right now they're just kind of thrown. They're organized and just kind of in, in individual pockets. So what I'm doing is I got a bunch of like bobbins and stuff. Like these aren't it. This isn't it. But I got a bunch of white bobbins from Walmart a while back on clearance for like 50 cents. And um, I went ahead and used those. Well, then I ran out of those, and I went to Walmart to see if they had any more. And all they had were these plastic ones, and they were like a dollar or something, but I'm too cheap for that. So what I did is I took one of the bobbins and traced it onto, like, some cereal box. Like, this is from Cheerios. Um, and then I've been tracing it and then cutting it out and making my own bobbins because no reason to buy it if you can just reuse stuff so I've kept a lot of cereal boxes and granola bar boxes and stuff like that to use for like my mini albums and stuff if I wanted to but I figured this will come in handy and use up some of that stuff um, so then I can just get more but I organized all my ribbon um, eventually I'll have it by color or theme and all that stuff but right now I'm just trying to get everything kind of around the bobbins at least the thinner type ribbon. Now the thicker ribbon, which I will share. Hold on. Like stuff like this. Obviously I'm going to need something bigger for. But right now this works for like my thinner ribbon and my twine. So I got three boxes so far full. I got this one. This one. And as you can see, like some of my ribbon like is super chunky, so it kind of takes up a lot of space. And like some of the lace and stuff, I probably should have cut down a little bit more. So I'm going to be working on that. Um, I have some more that I just found that I'm going to organize onto those as well. That I got at like Michael's, I think it, Michael's, I think it was when it was on clearance. So I'm going to be organizing those, but that's basically what I've been doing there. So I have been a busy girl. Um, I will hopefully be able to share with you guys a few more projects coming up because we are celebrating Christmas with my in-laws. So I'll be able to share some of those projects that I've been working on with them, for them. Off the garage sale site um, the other day, um, I picked these up. These are like some old date stamps. 
and they're super like vintage and cool looking so I picked those up and then this one is like school themed it's like to grade you on your writing so I had to pick that up because um, I already have some vintage stamps that I got off the garage sale site for a hardware store that used to be here in town and it's no longer there so it's pretty awesome I got some like a little piece of history um, from our town so um, I had to pick up some more vintage stamps because I love the vintage it's kind of cool just knowing that that was used like back then and everything so a little piece of history so that's all I have to share hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I hope to talk to you guys soon bye guys